Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. This afternoon you're gonna spend some time with me in the kitchen. I'm going to declutter. I'm going to kind of reorganize some of our cabinets and I'm gonna make some banana bread with chocolate chips. And I'll give you a little kitchen tour. It's a little bit of everything. Let's go. Okay, so before we get started, I am starving. It's a little past lunchtime. Let's see, what time is it? Well, it's about one o'clock, so I'm gonna head out and run to Panera. I am craving Panera. I haven't had it in a while. It's a good little drive away from here, but the guys are out doing their thing right now. It's beautiful weather, so I just figured why not? I'm gonna go pick up some Panera, come back and eat, and then I'm going to make some banana bread. I'm gonna start decluttering. We've got some things in this kitchen. We moved into this house like four years ago, almost exactly four years ago. And there's some things in our kitchen that we brought from the old house that we haven't used while we've been here. So it's time for those to go. So I'm gonna bring y'all along in the process. Okay, I just finished eating my Panera bread. It was kinda nice. I just sat in the living room and was watching some reruns of Friends and ate my lunch and now I'm going to start on the banana bread I almost just jumped into starting to declutter and all of that but then I remembered oh yeah it would be smart of me to put the banana bread in first and let that be baking while I'm doing all the other things so let me flip you around and show you how I make my banana bread here's everything I'm gonna need I need a teaspoon each of salt and baking soda a fourth a cup of melted butter I'll need a cup of sugar cup and a half of flour. I've already got that measured out. Three very ripe, almost overripe bananas that I'm gonna mash. I've got an egg, and then I have about a fourth of this bag left of semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm just gonna add those in just because I have a little bit left, and I mean, banana and chocolate is like one of my favorite combos ever, so. First thing I'm gonna do is preheat the oven to 325. I've got two bowls here. I'm gonna start in this bowl. I'll combine my dry ingredients in here and then add it into this one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mash up my bananas. Okay, now I'm gonna add in one cup of sugar. Gonna add my egg. And my fourth a cup of butter that's been melted. Now in this other bowl, I'm gonna add in my cup and a half of all-purpose flour. And a teaspoon of baking soda. Stir that around. And I'm gonna add this over here into the bananas. Now it's time to add in a teaspoon of salt. And lastly, I'm just gonna throw these in just, just because. I've already sprayed my um, loaf pan with Pam. I'm just going to pour my batter in. And that's it. This is going in the oven for about an hour at 325. Now that the banana bread is baking, I'm going to quickly clean up the kitchen so I can start decluttering. I know our kitchen may not look really large, but it has 28 cabinet doors in it. If you hear a loud noise in the background, I went ahead and started the dishwasher, but it does have 28 cabinets. That's not counting drawers, so it's actually a really large kitchen as far as space goes, like storage space. So today I need to go through 
all 28 cabinets and just declutter. So I didn't start out too strong. I didn't really need to declutter the first few cabinets, but I thought I would show you one of them that I didn't have to redo. But let's get started on actually decluttering. Right next to the stove is our measuring spoons and measuring cups and anything that has to do with baking is in this drawer and it was a little overfilled, I guess. I had some duplicates of things I really didn't need, so I decided I would clean it out. I'm using my Shark Ion hand handheld and my Norwex kitchen cloth to clean it out before I go and reorganize. Another cabinet I really didn't need to do anything with was this one here. It just holds both of my crock pots. That's all. So I'm going to keep showing you my declutter pile. That was my very small pile to start with. Over here to the right of the sink is our Tupperware container cabinet. And it really wasn't bad. I only ended up purging one thing out of here. I just needed to straighten it up a little bit. On the top shelf, I have a Lazy Susan for my smaller containers. It just makes it a lot easier to get to them. I really like that. To the left of my kitchen sink, I've got a couple of cabinets that I'm going to redo as well as two drawers. So first, I'm going to go down here to this cabinet. This is really a hodgepodge cabinet. I call it the toaster cabinet and for good reason. That's the main thing I go down there for. So it really kind of just stores some things that I don't use very often, but it also stores my cookbooks, but I don't really like them being there because I feel like it's the wrong space. So I'm gonna try and relocate those. To the left of the sink, the upper two cabinets just house all of our plates and bowls. Lately though, I had been storing my cheese grater that I love so much and my onion chopper that I love so much up at the top, but that's not the most convenient place for them because it's kind of high up. So I'm gonna relocate those as well. And yeah, I really didn't have to purge a whole lot out of this one either. It was just kind of reorganizing. Going back on the top shelf, I'm gonna put our tater zapper, which is what you put potatoes in the microwave with and it cooks them perfectly. And these little bowl protectors that go underneath a bowl when you put them in the microwave, it keeps you from burning your hands. My declutter pile is definitely starting to grow. The next two things I'm going to work on are these two drawers right here to the left of the sink. The one closest to the sink houses all of my rags that I use, my Norwex, my e-cloths, and just regular rags, and I had way too many. Brace yourself, this next drawer looks awful. But the funny thing is, I know exactly where every single thing went in this drawer. So it may look bad, but it's actually not that bad. But there were lots of things in this drawer that we haven't used pretty much the entire time we've been in this house. So I was definitely going to purge those. It had been almost an hour, so I knew I was about to take the banana bread out of the oven, but I wanted to reorganize my oven mitts drawer, which is to the right of the stove. There were a couple of things that I needed to purge out of there, but it was just a really simple fix.
before I take the bread out to cool on the cooling rack, I just run around the edge with a knife and then I shake the pan really well just to make sure that nothing is sticking on the bottom. It was so nice to take a little break and eat this piece of banana bread and I loved the addition of the chocolate chips. It wasn't overpowering, but just an extra little something. Now let's get back to organizing. I really didn't need to do anything to the silverware drawer, which is there to the left of the dishwasher. Showing you here, we've got some chopsticks and that's about it. It's a very simple drawer. It doesn't really get messy. But this cabinet on the other hand is a hodgepodge. So it was time to go through it. much better. I like to store my out of season coffee cups here just because it's easy to get to. And yeah, our declutter pile is continuing to grow, but it's about to get even bigger. Right next to our fridge on the bottom right, we have got two drawers that we keep all of our cookware in. And this bottom drawer had so many pieces that we have not used since we've moved into this house, so it's time to donate them. By this point, I was getting pretty tired, <laughs> and I only had a couple of places left to go, but this one was pretty bad. This is a cabinet where we housed all of Cole's stuff for lunches when he went to school. Now he does online Christian Academy here at home, so and we plan for him to finish out high school that way, so we really don't need this many things for lunches anymore. My husband works from home. He doesn't have to leave to go to lunch, so it was just a lot of unused items that were down here, so it was time to purge. I felt like this was the perfect place for me to put my recipe binder and the couple of cookbooks that I kept. So that's where they're gonna go from now on. Now I just have to remember that they're over there. I'm sure I will reach for them in the wrong spot several times before I get used to it. The last spot to organize today is just our cup cabinet. I got rid of a couple of things out of here, but not a lot. I really thought I would get rid of more than I did, but. I was just going to reorganize it, purge just a few things, and be done for the day. Lastly, I wanted to show you where I ended up moving my cheese grater and my onion chopper. I moved it here to the right of the sink. I have my casserole dishes in here, but I also have my egg cooker, my onion chopper, my cheese grater, and all of my Ziploc bags. And here <laughs> is my purge pile. That's a lot of stuff. 
had really been dreading this task for a couple of months and I'm so glad that I just went ahead and got it done. It took a couple of hours, but I could have broken it up into smaller pieces and you could too. So if this motivates you, but you don't have a couple of hours, just go tackle one drawer or one cabinet. It will make you feel so much better. I hope this did inspire you and I hope you'll give the banana bread a try as well and throw some chocolate chips in there. Trust me. If you haven't already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Hit that red subscribe button before you go. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.